Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Today, you know, it's uh, springtime and it's finally that time of the year to get out here and work in the garden. And I pulled out our trusty old Troy built horse rototiller here. Now this model has a six horse Tecumseh engine on it. Really old 1970s cast iron, heavy duty, awesome technology. This kind of machine here, if you blow the engine, you just put another one on and keep going. However, we uh, don't have reverse. So no matter when we shift, as this is going back and forth, nothing happens. So upon investigating, found out that this little pulley right here, when you shift this and go from forward, now you put it in reverse, that pulley rubs on this bottom pulley and it makes it turn and go in reverse. So needless to say that this pulley here is supposed to have rubber on it. It's supposed to look like this. So. That's why your rototiller doesn't go in reverse. Needless to say, we ordered this little part and then we have to figure out how to put it on there. And uh, well, it'd be nice to have reverse so we can back this thing up. It's kind of heavy, big, awkward machine clunking around with this thing running, but it's a great machine. Definitely check this thing out. I have another video on using it in rototilling, but this one I want to show you what you have to do to make sure you get reverse and fix your thing. And we will adjust our transmission a little bit or a linkage so that it pushes a little harder on the belt to make it go because right now you can see it's rubbing here we want it to hit maybe there so we will adjust this cam here and move this upward just loosen that and move it upward and uh, that'll lock in a better position give you a little more grip on your belt but uh follow along so i had a heck of a time trying to figure out how i can hold this engine from turning and what i came up with See here, maybe I can get this camera to sit right, right like that so you can see what I'm doing. What I came up with is if I wedge the pliers against the pulley, get a 9 16 on the bottom, I can actually get that nut and turn it, or the bolt or whatever the heck this thing is, I guess it's a bolt, at least it stopped it from turning, now I can get it off. That was the hardest part, is just figuring that out. There you have it. I mean, it really wasn't that hard to get this off once you get this stupid thing loose. It's kind of a little tricky to fandangle out of there. But that's all it is. Just this old wheel finally rotted away. Put this new one on. I mean, you could tell that's definitely made with, uh, it's, it's sad to say it was made in the USA. And it screams quality. Oh man, I don't know if you could see any of that, but that's pathetic. Hope USA stuff gets better than that. Anyway, well, let's get back to this thing. Hopefully we have reverse. Yeah. Figured I'd try to show you how this goes back together here. It's really tricky to get the shot. But uh, I had to finagle getting the other part out. If I put that in like that, I'm not going to get this bolt in there. It kind of went in from the other side. So if I had this off, half the bolt, and then worked it, look at that. I'm able to get it in there. That's kind of how you have to take it apart. And we'll crank it back up. And Boy, that really wasn't too hard. Hopefully that's all it was and we get reverse back. All right, that really wasn't that bad. It took probably longer to make the video than it did to change this part. So hopefully, let me engage and disengage and go from forward to reverse. It'll work. Let's uh, put her in neutral and find out here. Maybe I can prop this like that. I don't know, you can probably see everything. But of course. Great machine, these old uh, Troy built horse rototiller here. Six horsepower. And I mean, this thing's nothing special. 
special. This one actually is very special. It has electric start and it has a plow attachment for doing potatoes. But uh, it works really, really great for rototilling the garden and I'm gearing up for doing that now, especially with this stupid virus going around. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna need to get their gardens done. But uh, I hope you learned something. This is as simple as just changing that pulley up inside here. And now we have reverse. Now I looked at this and I thought it needed a new belt and that's why reverse didn't work. Turns out this is a two speed and you just move this belt from one pulley to the other and you have different speeds and instead of a really crawl speed, you have a slight walking speed. But uh, great, great, great old solid cast machine. Take care of this thing, it'll last generations. I know they make all the parts to rebuild the engine and everything and you're probably better off doing that than just buying a new engine, period. But uh, follow along, Mr. Brian's Amazing World. Go out and rototill your garden, save your family, plant your stuff. Have a great day.